Hello guys and ladies, uh, good to see you all. This is Speed Waker. Um, what's going on? Yes, I've been lifting once in a while because, as you know, I hurt my knees and elbow in the past. And as you saw from this previous video, from this intro, uh, I lifted um, 165 pounds. Um, that was February 11. Um, when I lifted that weight, my elbow pain kind of aggravated, so I didn't want my pain to come back. So I stopped right there. Ever since then, I've been resting my elbows, uh, stopped benching for a long time, um, uh, and I came back to benching again probably two weeks before. Um, and I'm trying to lift something not heavier than 130 pounds. I'm trying to stay something light. Um, and that, that's kind of helping me a lot for healing process. I mean, it's, it's already healed, I believe, but I'm just trying to be careful because I, I don't want to aggravate the pain. So that's that. And my goodness is my knee. As, as you saw from the intro, I, my knee now can lift. My squat now can, I, I can do uh, more than 130 pounds, no problem. No problem. But I can certainly feel the my knee is different from past. My knee is it feels like my knee is damaged. Uh, it doesn't hurt, but it, it doesn't feel the same as before. So that's the only thing. But that's fine as long as my knee is healed and I can lift. That's fine. Um, as for the plan for lifting, uh, I'm gonna stick to bodybuilding. Um, I'm not going to do a powerlifting probably for another maybe quarter uh, three to four months because I think right now I have to be really careful I know my injuries it's been a long time but I have to build more muscles and work on the weak weak spots um, I'm not going to start piloting uh, anytime soon and I learned the lesson I learned the lesson um, I think Back in the days when I was lifting, my max was 355 pounds with um, not the competition depth, but it was deep enough, and uh, I hit that. And I was really strong back then, but I think my problem was my hamstrings was not strong enough because when I when I go to the gym and squat, my I'm very quad dominant person. And if I do squat, it just it wouldn't it wouldn't hit my hamstring that much. And I, I think I kind of neglected. Um, so from now on, if I do squat leg days, I'm going to hit the uh, hamstring machine. I think the, I get the most hamstring works out out of the hamstring machine, not from the squat. I tried wide wide stance squat, which is believed to hit those hamstring more than uh, the narrower stance, but that's not the case for me. Uh, it just feels awkward. I don't feel the hamstring. So I'd rather do hamstring curls machine and I think that really helps for me. Uh, so. so yes, so that's it and uh, I'm still lifting. I'm a power lifter. That didn't change. And because of so much resting and uh, drinking habit and even smoking cigarette once in a while, I gained the weight. Uh, not in a way that I want, but just too much fat, I believe, and it's like I gained more more weight, I mean, I gained more fat, but, but my weight went down. So right now I'm 185 pounds. Before I was 190 pounds, but I looked more slim and more muscular. And now just more fat and less muscle. Anyway, so yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully I'm gonna make more footage on training. Uh, which is bodybuilding and I used to be bodybuilder so I know what to do and hope that uh, can contribute to your knowledge I guess. Alright, thank you. Peace out.